Hey everybody, Matty here with Backwoods Mindset. So we're hoping to go catfishing tomorrow. Um, that's the plan at least with me and Frank. So I came down to the pond. So I got the kids out here with me. Um, they got their rods, they're getting in the water right now. I still gotta get mine set up, but we're going to be um, trying to catch some bluegill to get some more bait. We got some in the bait tank right now, but um, but we need to uh, we need to get some more just to make sure that we have enough. We might actually be going to a new spot tomorrow, I don't know, but right now you're gonna be watching us trying to catch some bluegill. Hopefully we get a lot tonight and we get a good haul and we can go home happy. Darcy caught the first one. Get in the bait bucket and get the bubbler going and get some fishing going. You got another one? That's a fish. <laughs> and I have a knot. Okay. Darcy got another one here. Oh, this one's pretty. Number two. Number three. Number four. What's up, sweetheart? It, it won't like when I try to catch it out, it won't only go so far. It's because of the amount of weight that you have on it. It's how much worm. Number five. <clears throat> Number six. So the hook that Aiden had on, uh, or that I put on, I don't know what I was trying to do with it, but it was like way too big of a hook. So I'm switching it out, going with a little bit of a smaller hook right now. Uh, we got five fish in the bucket right now. I know you, hopefully the footage has worked and we, and we got them on there, but uh, Darcy's got a couple. I'm hoping that I'm setting Aiden up for some success right now so that he can catch some um, and get it added to the to the bucket here so we can get it home and get in the bait tank. Uh, the goal is that we're going to be getting um, getting out tomorrow night to do some cat fishing and uh, hopefully catch some cats because I haven't uh, done any in Ohio yet this year. Um, tried when I was in Oklahoma, caught a gar. I think Darcy just got another one. So Aiden's just gonna need to get closer over by his by his sister here. Um, got Darcy walking up. Once I tie this here, I'm gonna get it off. Just wait there, sweetheart. Sweetheart, 
So my hand is still currently um, kind of hurting and um, I'm a little bit out of, a little bit out of commission with that hand still. Um, it's not a big deal. Here, bring it over here. Here's number six. Darcy's been catching these slabs. You can kind of see they're good size. These are great bait fish. Um, trying to get this hook out. Man, you, he hooked himself good on this one. There we go. We got that one. So we're going to get that sucker in the bucket. And uh, we're going to get back here and hopefully catch some more. I got a new hook on here. Just got to trim off that extra, put a worm on, and we should be ready to roll. That would be number seven. What number is this? Eight. We got number eight. Number nine. Is this nine or ten? Ten. Ten. Check out the color on this one, everybody. Look at this. This guy's cool. And he swallowed the worm, so I'm gonna have to go dig that one out. So, but look at how he's got really nice coloring. I don't know if you can see, hopefully you guys can see that. So we got 10 in the bucket right now. Um, the kids are out here. Um, we've been catching fish, so it's been going good. We're trying to get Aiden on some fish. Um, he had some issues with his fishing rod, and I had to fix it, so it kind of held him up for a little bit there. But uh, we're going to hang out for a little bit longer. Um, I'm about to go live in a few minutes. Um, Got to go over some stuff because we're not, well, you already know this, but we were supposed to do like a fishing challenge uh, tonight, and it got canceled because too many people had other stuff going on, family stuff, medical stuff, health stuff. So we're just not doing it. But um, we're gonna. I'm gonna try to get Aiden on, in on some fish here. Um, Darcy's been doing good. She's been catching. Like I said, Aiden's rod was a little bit messed up. Um, he's using one of mine right now, and hopefully, hopefully he can get a couple fish on. Okay, so um, I just did the live, explaining to everybody what's going on, um, and I'm going to let you guys know right now, I am going to be making a video that will uh, be coming out at the beginning of the week about the, um, the, the challenge. We're going to call it a challenge that we're doing. Um, it is the food chain challenge, so you have to use a worm to catch a bluegill, and then you have to use the bluegill to catch catfish. We got a bunch of guys doing it. We still do it at this point, still do have some uh, some spots open. So if you want to, you can email me at bucksnflatheads at gmail.com. And I'll put, that's always in the description and in uh, the info, my channel info. 
Uh, but I went on to explain to everybody there was some stuff that happened and we aren't able to, to do anything. So we're not gonna be fishing. Since I got off though, I think Darcy caught two more. We, anyways, we caught a couple more fish and um, I think we're, how many do we have in there now? 12. 12? Darcy says 12 or, th there's either 12 or 13 in there. So we got 12 or 13 bluegill for catfishing. That's a lot of bluegill. So um, hopefully, Frank's really picky about his bait, but I hope that he's satisfied with what we caught. It was funny because there were some that we caught and Darcy and Aiden were both like, Frank wouldn't like that one, which is hilarious, but it's true and we all know it. So he's real picky about his bait. He likes big baits. I'm okay with some in-between ones. I'll use them, but I'm going to continue this video into the catfishing video. So we'll be back tomorrow and we're going to do some catfishing. All right. So we did great last night. Um, got a bu bunch of bluegill. It's the next day. It's actually Sunday today. And I have to get my rods put back together. Um, I took them apart and I just took my reels when I went to Texas and Oklahoma. So I need to get the reels put back on the rods and need to reset them up so that I'm all good to go. Um, I haven't heard from Frank yet, um, but as far as I know, me, me and the kids are still gonna go tonight. Um, so we'll see what happens, but I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pop this on a time lapse and I'm gonna get these rods set up. So it's taken me a little bit of time. I'm glad that I have this on time lapse. Um, I gotta get to my next one. I have one, two, three, four, four or five more to go. Um, and my hand, like you guys know, I've talked about it a couple times. Um, it's real bad. It's really hard for me to work with my fingers. Um, it's extremely painful. Uh, but I want to get these done. I promised the kids that I would take them. Um, so <clears throat> I just need to keep going. Um, I just want to let you guys know. That's why, like, I, I can usually do these really fast. But I'm just kind of fumbling around because of my hands. So um, it's still, it's weird. Like, sometimes the pain's not there and sometimes the pain is. But it's, uh, it's okay. So I'm just going to keep going here. And uh, we're going to get another one done. All right, so as you saw, we got them all wrapped up. One of them was already done. I didn't know it was already done. I must have done it um, back when I was messing around with the rods earlier. But you, you see, we got, we're got we gonna run five rods tonight. What I usually do, just to make it easier on the kids, I give them each one, and then they just kind of use my rods too. Um, so it's easier for them just to pay attention to one and have to deal with one. I want them to learn and I want them to learn properly and not rush stuff so it's easier and sometimes the place where we fish just gets on it's just on 
So it's just sometimes it's just one after another. We have pulled in multiple at the same times. So it just makes it easier. So the kids will each have one to use. Um, we'll have the three up and usually they pick like one or two of them and then they help out or whatever. But um, we got those ready. So we're going to be going fishing right now. We got to jump in the truck. We got to run over to Amanda's aunt's house where we're going to be doing some bingo. I guess having a little party, a little get together uh, for Memorial Day weekend. So we're going to be doing that. And then we'll be back and we're going to go try to catch some catfish. Welcome back, everybody. So like I said, we were going to be going catfishing. The plans changed a little bit and we're actually, we're not doing it at night. We're doing it during the day. Today's Monday. It's Memorial Day. This um, whole video was kind of of the whole weekend. So we're at my spot. You can see behind with the bridge. Um, I'm actually going to have to change out the battery here in the GoPro in a minute. But I got Aiden. Huh? And we got Darcy. Huh? And we got the setup we got down here. And we got some people that are going to be excited. So, what we have, and I'm sorry about the wind, it's a little windy. People have been telling me to fish with marshmallows. So, we got a pack of Jet Puff marshmallows. And we're going shrimp. Now, we did catch a bunch of bluegill, but we're going to save the bluegill. When we do the river so we got these kind of thawing out right now i had aiden you can see it leaking i had aiden put some water in it um to try to thaw out these fish but uh or a shrimp i should say uh but i'm gonna get going here i need to change out this battery i just realized that's like on five percent so um i did record a bunch of other videos this weekend i have so much stuff that i need to go through and edit but we'll be back here and we're gonna be doing some fishing and we'll see if we catch anything anything today with shrimp and marshmallows hold on the tail tight mm -hmm. there you go aids first one back up so you can get him in all the way in go ahead So that was good. Um, Aiden got his first catfish of the year. Um, hopefully Darcy's up next here. We're just out here having a good time. That wasn't an overly big one, but it was a nice one. It was really pretty. It had good coloring. It looks real healthy. It was a good fighter. So that was exciting to see. That's a good sign, especially with the brood during the day. I know you guys missed this. I know how you guys love seeing the trains in my videos. So I'm back. I'm back here. And once again, we got Aiden, caught yeah. his first catfish of the year. And then we got Darcy over here, just snacking on some, what are those darks? Veggie, they're like veggie straws. So we get those at uh, Dollar Tree and she loves those. I guess they're, you know, healthier, healthier option than chi chips, but we'll see if we can get any more. Nothing's been on the, sh on the marshmallows yet. So I don't know, guys. You told me to bring out the marshmallows and give them a shot. I'm giving it a shot. Um, I'll give it a shot during the day. Maybe I'll use it during the week uh, one one day here. But um, we'll see what we get. Hopefully, we get some more. All right. So, Darcy's, we think Darcy's got one on. All right. And I screwed up, and I didn't get Aiden. Keep reeling, sweetheart. I didn't get Aiden's on film, but hopefully we can get Darcy's. I got a video of Aiden with his, which you guys saw. We're going to see what Darcy's got here. Oh, Darcy's got one. Give this to Aiden. All right, here, keep going. I'm going to get down here by the rock so I can grab it. Okay, Darcy. You want to hold it? All right. Yeah. So grab. 
the tail tight. Put your hand around it. Hold it tight. Like grip down on it. Come in this way. Come over here. Turn. Turn towards your brother. Put your hand behind these. Okay. And hold it. Hold it tight. Don't let him wiggle. There you go. Darcy with her first one of the year. Check that out. It's a pretty one. Good coloring. I'm going to try to get it back here. We're going to get this one back into the water. But um, yeah, she got a good one. It's nice. It's got, it's something happened to its back end here. You can see it's missing some of its fin. But it's a pretty fish. We're going to get it back into the water. Okay, so as you saw, Darcy, you want to wave? Here she is. She caught, um, she caught one and Aiden caught one. So they both caught their first catfish of the year. Very proud of them. They did a good job. They were, they were calm. They got it in. Um, now, you didn't see Aiden's because I thought I pressed the button and I didn't press the button. And then after he brought it up, but you did get to see him holding it. So he did catch, catch it and he did a great job. I haven't caught anything yet. We're gonna be here for a little bit longer. I'm hoping maybe, maybe I get a chance to get one. Um, are you guys gonna let me let me reel one in today if we get another bite? Yeah. Or is Dar Darcy, are you gonna take the whole thing? You gonna do it? No. You gonna let your dad have one? Okay, that's real sweet of you, sweetheart. But yeah, so at least maybe I'll get a shot to get one down here. I've already caught a couple this year, so. But um, we're, it's beautiful out here. You can see there's lots of boats and uh, you can see the river looks real nice. It's pretty calm. There's a little bit of wind that you guys may be able to hear, but it is Memorial Day weekend, so everybody's out here. It's been a little busy, um, but I think this, uh, I think it's been a nice day. You guys having fun? Yeah. Yeah, good time? Yep. So, and then we gotta get home because unfortunately, Mrs. Backwoods has to work tonight, so. She, was, she stayed home, she didn't come with us. Um, she was relaxing before she had to go to work. And we knew we were gonna be out here, um, so she wouldn't have been able to take a nap. She probably could have relaxed, but I figured we'd give her some time and she can spend some time with the dogs because we had a busy, busy weekend. But we'll be back here, hopefully I'll get one on the line. If not, at least the kids caught and it was fun for them this weekend. So we'll be back soon.